Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with a Creations episode. Now today is going to be mostly about flight, and we have a Boeing 787 here. This is by Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy, and this thing <laughs> is massive. Look at this. It is a very, very glorious uh, plane that we're going to attempt to get off the ground here. There's a lot of buttons on the cockpit. Uh, kind of swoop through here, let you guys check this thing out. Yeah, it's going to be a miracle if I can get this off the ground, but I'm going to try my hardest here because I would love to fly this thing through the skies. So, anyways, all the creations are linked down in the description if you want to play with anything that you see in today's episode. And if you guys have any themes for creations episodes you want to see in the future, maybe comment below. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's get to this. Okay, word of warning. It is laggy on the ground here. There is nothing I can do about this. It's just how big this plane truly is. And the whole fact, I think the uh, the engines and stuff, they're really setting low. So it's like they're almost colliding with the ground. So as soon as we get this thing airborne, uh, we should be okay. Now, question is, do I need a stair car to get up this? There's a good chance I do. Uh... Yeah, we're definitely not just gonna waltz up in this, are we? Okay, there's that. Do we have a set of stairs that comes down? Nope, we definitely need- we need like a full terminal set up here. Alright, let me figure out how I'm gonna get into this. Alright, here we are with the stair car. We're gonna line it up and I'm gonna attempt to jump in there. Uh, I don't think I have a way of moving this, so we're probably gonna have to run it over to get it away. Alright, let me go ahead and get into the uh, plane here and see if we can fire this thing up. All right, here we are in the captain's... Oh, jeez. That is a lot of buttons here. Okay, this looks like our lights are up here at the top. I like this, though. This is kind of cool. Okay, there's uh, fuel pumps, uh, fuel doors, electric bus tie. Uh, I'm trying to remember back to my old uh, flight sim days to figure out what I need to actually start up first. Okay, so we got all that. Right, I'm gonna turn on fuel pumps, fuel doors. Let's go ahead and turn these on. There we go. Okay, so that is all good to go there. Let's go ahead. I guess we need our taxi. Anti collision, taxi lights. Let's go. Nav lights are on. Landing lights are on. Okay, so looks like we've got engine starters are down there. So we probably need to give it a little bit of throttle here. There we go. Okay, flaps. Let's go ahead and try to start these real quick. Uh, yep, I'm getting fire. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this. Oh boy. All right, let's let it spool up real quick. We should have all the brakes engaged, and hopefully, we're about to get out of this lag. Uh, there's your autopilot. It's going to turn on cabin heat here. Altitude holds there. Vertical speed hold, I guess, is there. Um, let me see. Uh, GPS autopilot. This thing's got the works to it. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous looking. All right, let's go ahead and a little more throttle here and see if we can get these things to fully fire up. Try to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Okay, so I need to turn on the fuel cutoffs. It's something I missed here. I'm going to turn the starters off now because apparently they do drain the battery. All right, so I believe we are fully fired and I think we're actually ready to roll here. And attempt to taxi out to the runway. Uh, oh boy. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead. Let's, uh, go up a little more here. Okay, brakes are still engaged. Let's go ahead and check flight controls. Uh, ignore the whole fact the door is open. The, the little button for the exit is, like, on the outside, so it's kind of hard for me to, to do that. Okay, there's that. Alright. Okay, so there's throttle. Okay, everything... Everything looks okay. All right, I'm gonna attempt to release the brakes here. Here we go, three, two, one, brakes are released. Okay, what's our taxiing like? We are slowly rolling right now. The plane itself is pulling, and I think it's just something with Stormworks physics. Uh, there's something, like, it's literally pulling itself to the left. Are both engines fired? Yeah, they're, they're both fired. I noticed it was moving around quite a bit while I was just sitting on the ground. And I think it's just kind of like a Stormworks deal, so I think as soon as we get rolling here... Okay, we're gonna have to nudge the stair car out of the way. Uh, 
Actually, no. No, we don't have to nudge it. Okay. It's clear. Oh, no. Yeah, we did nudge it. All right. I don't know if this is enough runway to get this thing off the ground. Hopefully it is. Uh, we're coming a little sideways. Ooh, I'm getting dragged. Tremend what the heck? All right, I need to gun it. I need to go. I've got to go now. Uh, Stormworks, uh, there's something going on here because it's pulling itself on the ground, which is probably not good. Okay. Oh, let's not tail slap. Uh, ooh. Holy man. Holy man. That thing, that thing lifts so quick for as big as it is. Oh, jeez. Okay, I thought we were going to hit the tail section on the way uh, up. Yeah, there's something wrong. It's like the, and it's not wrong with the creation. I, I think it's morally a Stormworks deal. Sometimes you get these big creations on the, the ground, and they uh, they seemingly kind of glitch out a little bit, and they'll start sliding across the ground. It's actually really annoying, but uh, thankfully, I think we bypassed that. We've got our frames back. Yes, it's glorious. Uh, are the gears stuck? I don't know if they're stuck or not. Maybe they're not. Okay, we're going to punch an altitude. I'd like to actually walk around this thing a bit. Uh, let's see. Altitude, max bank. There's heading. There's our speed. Where is our altitude? That is GPS. Let's see. Altitude, vertical, speed, and altitude. Okay. Man, the plane's actually really, really smooth. This is nice. Uh, I need to figure out kind of what I want to set our, uh, our altitude at. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Let's just go a hundred. Let's go thousand. I, I don't really know what this is. Let's go fifteen hundred. Uh, boom. I could have this completely set weird. Uh, altitude hold. Hold on, is this gonna stabilize us here? Okay, I'm letting the altitude hold is taking over. Okay, looks like we're slowly starting to stabilize. You know, we might actually be okay here. Holy man. Uh, vertical speed. I guess we'll hit that. Okay, so no, you have to have either altitude hold or vertical speed. So we'll go altitude hold on. We'll hold it at, I think it's at uh, 1,500. All right, so I got her stabilized out. We're going to attempt to actually move around in it real quick. I, I think I've got all the holds right. Uh, oh, you can see first class here. Uh, there's some of the passenger seats. There's uh, bathrooms back there. It feels like we are, are we tilting? Uh, it feels like we're banking, almost like we're turning. Is it? Is this all it's going to go? Or is it going to keep going? Man, that's awesome. So, yeah, you got first class here. Do they have all their... I think I like a little individual lights here. Ha-ha. <laughs> that is cool. So, yeah, you got the first officer over here, captain here. The just absolute insane amount of controls up here. Very impressive. You know, I'm assuming I could punch in a GPS coordinate. Oh, we are booking it. Uh, let's punch it. Yeah, you know what? We're going to punch it really far away. Uh, let's say up there. All right, so I should probably be in my seat for this. Let's go boom. And GPS autopilot. Okay, so I'm assuming it's going to start. I feel like we're turning now. Uh, let's check that. Are we starting to turn? Yeah, I believe so. All right, everything seems to be pretty stable. Uh, everything's good. Man, I like this. This might be one of my new favorite flying creations. This thing's just massive and very, very awesome. All right, let's go ahead and check see where we are. Now, as far as a landing for this thing, a landing, you know, if I could figure out... Okay, you know, let's get our heading real quick. Okay, so if we're aimed this way, uh, you know, let's turn off GPS. I'm going to go ahead and guide us in. All right, I'm going to try to get us back to the creative island. So I'm going to go ahead and start to turn here. Let me know if you guys think that I'm actually going to make this landing. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to. All right, we're starting to break some speed here. I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and I guess put flaps up. Okay, so I'm trying to get this lined up. Uh, we're going to try to hit this runway right here. I don't know if that's going to be a thing or not. All right, let's go ahead and check our uh, how high up we are. Let's go ahead and start to lose altitude here. Oh, boy, I'm a little nervous. So I've been feeling like the uh, the plane's been pulling a little bit, and I do not know where I received this damage at on my right wing. Okay, well, that might be a bit of an issue. All right, we're going to try to just land this thing and see if we can get it down. All right, folks, we got a bit of an issue here. This thing is really pulling right now. It's pulling to the right. I'm assuming it's because of the wing damage. All right, there's our runway. Oh, boy. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, why is this getting worse? Okay, I think we're good. Okay, I can see the runway. We are lined up with it. 
Uh, oh boy. <laughs> okay, runway spot it. There it is, folks. Are we going to be able to actually put this thing down? Uh, not really sure right now. I'm going to let it swing out a little bit, and then we're going to start to try to turn it. It's just got a really bad pull to the right, and the right side of the plane keeps tilting up. So would a water landing in this situation be more appealing? I know I'm actually supposed to be using the speed hole to come in for the landing here, but with the damage, I'm just trying to focus on that, and uh-oh. Okay, come on. Oh, the poor passengers inside this plane, they're probably freaking out right now. Uh, we got this. Uh, okay, uh, no, 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 let's not clip that. Okay, uh-oh, 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 guess it, oh, no, throttle it up, throttle it up, throttle up! <laughs> no, we're touching the, uh-oh, this is not good. Okay, hold on, hold on, shut her down, uh-oh, okay, this is not good, this, uh, yeah, hold on, can we turn it? This is going to be the jankiest landing I think ever, anybody's ever seen. Hold on, come down. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> did we actually... That wasn't a landing. That was more of a flop. But did we actually just manage to get it on the landing gear and not flip it over? All right, you know what? According to Komodo's piloting skills, that was probably about as good as it's going to get. Let's go ahead, pop open the uh, emergency exit here. Uh, and we're going to hop off. Yep. That was a thing. That was an awesome creation. A little hard for me to figure out, but uh, I think once you do figure it out, it's actually pretty cool. I, I, like I said, I don't know where that damage is. I might have to go back and watch the footage and see exactly when that happened. But yeah, nonetheless, very awesome creation. All right, so the next creation is the SSI JSF 30F. This is by White Noise. Uh, supposedly very, very fast jet here. Wow, that actually is very impressive looking. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn it out. Yeah, so Komodo had a 787, so you might as well give him a jet now because obviously I'm a qualified pilot. Uh, you saw that landing back there. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the canopy. Ooh, that is nice. Okay, let's get pilot seat. Ah, yes, we are using these uh, these knobs here. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's just read everything. Engine throttle thrust. I'm going to go ahead and go over the controls uh, in the uh, workshop real quick. It's going to turn back lights on. See engine, nav lights. For, uh, I don't need a formation light on. Refuel fueling boom and landing lights are on. There's your flaps up. Retract landing gear, brakes, heater. Man, this is so awesome seeing all these uh, little switches in here. Alright, so as far as instructions, it really just kind of went over the features of the plane, so I'm assuming we are ready to go here, so... Let's see, let's get this canopy down. There we go, canopy's coming down. Alright, let's go and fire up engines here. Okay, she's on. Alright, let's see, we have altitude hold and cruise hold over here. It's going to give it, I guess, some thrust here, so let's go engine up. There we go. Oh, man, that is awesome. Uh, let's see, actually, I think there's actually a hook here, too. For carrier landings. Too bad we don't have a carrier for this. That would have been awesome. All right, let's go ahead and start to taxi out. I think I could probably taxi something like this a little bit better than the uh, the last thing we were playing with there. Oh yeah, that's glorious looking. Do you imagine if they added something like VR to Stormworks? That would be really cool for uh, being in ships. I don't know really how that would work. I guess in the cockpit I know how it would work, but walking around might be a little strange. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna get out to the runway. I'm gonna turn. Uh, we'll throttle up and take off here. Okay, I think we are ready to go here. Lined up. Let's go ahead all the way on the engine throttle. All right, thrust all the way. Oh, holy man. What, what the heck? That was a lot faster of takeoff than I thought it was gonna be. Probably should have taken off at that speed. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, so hold on. Let me go ahead and make sure. We're not even at full thrust yet. Okay, full thrust. Look how fast we're going. Oh, that is ridiculous. That is actually incredible. All right, so let's go ahead and get that altitude hold on. Uh, let's see. Let's go altitude hold, cruise hold on. There we go. All right, so now I can sit here and play with the controls. Wait, how fast can we get to the Arctic here? Is that the... Actually, I need a turn here. Okay, so we should be... I think we're heading north now. Hold on, let me level it back out. Okay, we are heading... Yes, we are heading north. So what I'm going to do here... So this plane's super fast. We're gonna turn on the rain here, and we'll see how quick it takes to convert over to snow. Because, folks, we are booking it north. This is ridiculous. Uh, we are at full speed, afterburners are on. 
<laughs> yes, that is sweet. All right, so max speed of this thing is 717 knots or Mach 1.1. Uh, that's at 100% throttle, 100% thrust with the afterburners kicked on. That, yeah, it's ridiculous. Now, cruise speed, they're actually recommending probably about half of this. But uh, we're uh, in a race to get to the Arctic here. So let's go ahead and aim a little more north. There we go. Okay, folks, let's watch for it. Look how far and how fast we're cruising. You know, I almost didn't even think about fuel and all that. Uh, let's go... Uh, Wait, what's level roll? Oh, there's the snow. Well, wow, that instantly appeared. Like, I went to the cockpit, it was raining, went to the cockpit, came out, it's snowing. And there's ice. We are already in the Arctic. It probably took about, I would say, less than two minutes here to get up to it. All right, let's go ahead and get down to cruising speed here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the holds real quick. Uh, I don't know why that button's a little hard to hit right there. Um, let's go up. Okay. Okay, cruise holds off. All right, so now we have a little more uh, direct control of this thing. Yes, that is beautiful. Oh, it's still fast, I'll tell you that. But the maneuverability of this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Like, it handles great. Are we near any of the main islands here? Which way are we heading? Okay, we're still we're still cruising north. We're actually cutting across. All right, so we're going to stay a little low here. Try to just skim over the... Uh-oh. Oh, uh, that was a mistake. That was me being a show off trying to be way too low to the water there uh oh okay so we have a fire uh is this gonna go out do we have an eject um okay let's go and up canopy uh let's see do we have an island or something all right folks uh we have a bit of an issue you know we're on fire <laughs> which is bad of course um but let's see we still got quite a bit of fuel left. Wait, are we holding speed or? Oh, let's close that canopy real quick. We might be able to nurse this thing home. Well, not home. Uh, we might be able to nurse this thing onto a. Okay, we need to turn here. We need to get to that glacier. Yeah, this thing's starting to lose altitude now. We are losing speed. It's okay. I know this is not a feature. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. Okay, you know what? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we're losing it. Losing it. Uh, okay, probably time to get out of here. Do I have a parachute? Uh, oh, it, oh! <laughs> Wait, did you hear that? There was actual stall warning going off. That's actually the first time I've seen that. It was saying stall in the front, and... Yep, we lost it. That was completely my fault. I, I thought I was going to sit there and kind of, like, glide over the water. And, yeah, it's so fast, and I, I made one miscalculation. I clipped the water there. It's still... Very, very awesome creation. Maneuverability is awesome. Speed is insane. I highly suggest checking that out. It's by White Noise. It's the SSI JSF 30F. Uh, don't let Komodo fly it. All right, so the last thing we're going to be spawning in, this is actually a helicopter sub. This is by Lorgs. Uh, it says Aerial Sunfish on the side of it. This thing, is it really as ridiculous as it looks? Holy man. Hold on, let's spawn this. This might be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Uh, let's climb in through the hatch here. So I initially tried to spawn this in. This uh, From the workshop picture, this thing actually doesn't look too huge. And I tried spawning it in the uh, the hangar and it said, oh, the vehicle's too big and now I see why. Hold on, close that. Oh, wow, this is a full living quarters in here. Parachute. All right, so we got living quarters up here. There's your clock. Uh, looks like we got some fire gear. Let me come back through here. Looks like these are bathroom, maybe cabins, possibly. Oh, it's got these little uh, fold-down cabins. Oh, man, or I should say fold-down beds. There's uh, thermal equipment. Dude, this is cool. So, oh, this is like a master bedroom back here. You got a little bit of a medic bay, some lockers. Got a really nice view. So, yeah, this thing is a, uh, it's a sub. But it's also a helicopter. So, wait, it's got like a dual cockpit here. So, let me guess, the bottom is for the submarine control. Yeah, submarine control, and the top is the helicopter? Are you kidding me? And these doors lead out. Okay, do we have access to this back here? Okay, so this is just the engine room and all the inner workings, airlocks. Oh, that is cool. So yeah, it's already got airlocks back here too, ready to go. All right, this might be one of the most ridiculous sub slash. Well, I think it's probably the only sub helicopter on the workshop right now, but this is cool. Whoa, what's this? 
It's like a full help guide. What, this thing talks about all... That is cool, it's like a little help board. Yeah, startup, it talks about batteries. Wow, that's insane. Okay, so main power's on. Let's go ahead and connect the battery, okay. Engine power's on. Okay, so I'm assuming we want to go to helicopter mode first. There's heaters. Okay, I can close the doors from here. Uh, bridge integrity, let's see. Spotlights. This is going to be airlocks. So you have all the controls up here too as far as your uh, doors and airlocks. All right, let's go ahead and power this up. All right, so we want to go to rotocraft mode. There we go. It's pretty simple. All right, so we get into here. We've got spotlights. Go and turn those on real quick. Let's see, we got mm, anchors. Let's see, magnets. We have throttle holds up here. It's going to probably take me a second to learn how to... Oh, engage rotors. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you serious? Uh, this might be the most unique thing I've ever seen on the workshop. Oh, it's got skis on the bottom of it, too. Look at this. It's actually fairly fast. But look how stable it is. You're kidding me, right? Oh, man, no telling how long it took to build this. This is an incredible creation. So, yeah, you got the airlocks in the back. You got the doors uh, that lead to the outside. I guess that you can... Um... Actually, I'm not really sure of the point of those doors. I guess if you land on the actual land, you would use those side doors. But you don't want to open those up underwater. And when, it's, when this thing's, like, just setting down before it dives, you definitely wouldn't open those up. You'd probably use those airlocks in the back. That is cool. All right, so we got this mode, so let's go ahead and turn down that throttle here. Does it just hover when we... Yeah, it does. Okay, so when we kill the throttle, it goes into a hover mode. Now, what I'm guessing you want to do... I'm guessing you want to lower this thing in the water, not let it drop. Because uh, potential... I don't know if you would damage it or not, but hold on. Let's go ahead and go... Oh, okay, so we're going to place this in the water. Oh, man, I got to show this to the boys. We got to use this thing, like in a mission or something. Okay, so that's good. All right, I'm going to disengage the rotors here. So we're going to go ahead and turn off rotorcraft mode. All right, so that's off. So we're going to go power the submarine mode is now on. So yeah, you see we're floating in the water. We're going to hop down here to the submarine controls. And let's see, is there a ballast? Let's see, anchors. Uh, it's all anchors, water jets. Okay, fill ballast. So I'm going to click that open. So it's gonna, okay, you see the water tanks down here. I'm assuming that's what just opened. So it's gonna fill up with water. Oh, look at that. The blades fold onto the side. Are you kidding me? I guess we're ready to go. We're ready to dive. All right, so I'm gonna start throttling up. There we go. And we're diving. Okay, this might be the coolest thing that I've seen. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain this thing. Like, this is incredible. We've got to use this again. It's a work of art. Look at that. It's got all the spotlights there. I can change the spotlight angles. Uh, let's see if we can find the bottom of the ocean here. I don't want to crash into it. Distance from bottom. There it is. All right. So we're 178 meters from the bottom. So let's keep going. Okay. This is a really, really deep spot. I should start to see some sort of sea floor here relatively soon. Those are some pretty bright spotlights. So we're definitely going to light this whole thing up. This thing would be perfect for exploring like... Uh, underwater wreckage and stuff like that. I didn't check to see if there was a GPS system on this. Like, that would make it even more ridiculous as far as just, I guess, accessibility uh, using this. Okay, so let's go down here. We're going to pitch down a little bit more. All right, so you can see the seafloor. Man, okay, I'm going to stop throttling. I'm going to let it roll here. So the last thing we're going to do with this, and I think, like I said, I'm going to save some of this because I, I really think we could do... A video on this in multiplayer. Uh, is the airlock does is there water in that right now? No, there isn't. Okay, so we go go into the airlock here. Uh, let's go ahead and equip our diving equipment here. Ah, they left an the empty locker. That's actually good. There's a lot of times where I I'll get something on and I can't like find the right locker to put it back. So they got one of those. There's drain airlock, lower ladder. Okay, do I need to activate the airlock from? Oh, I guess I just opened the door really. Oh, lower the ladder first. Okay, so lower the ladder. There it goes. Okay, airlock's filling. All right, so we unlock this. There it goes. All right, we are... Ooh, this is spooky. Okay, turn our flashlight on. Jeez, we are deep. Oh, that's cool. You only get moments like this in Stormworks. So, yeah, you would just come right back up. You'd get on the ladder. Uh, I guess you just click the drain airlock, and you're good to go. 
But anyways, I think it's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Be sure to check out these creations linked down in the description. That thing is amazing. I uh, strongly suggest checking that out too if you want to go have fun with your friends. Doesn't lag. Uh, picture to be really good for missions, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time on Stormworks.